So in this video, we are going to learn how to save new tasks from Google Task in Notion database. Now suppose guys, you and your team members are using Google Tasks to manage or assign all the tasks related to your work. And you want to create a backup, a record of all the tasks which are being created in your Google Task account. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process of creating a backup in Notion. So the trigger of this automation will be creating a new task in our Google Task account. So whenever a new task will be created in your Google Task account, this automation will start. And using this automation, a new item with the same task details which are created in Google Tasks will be added in our Notion database. Now how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Google task to notion. And then just click on create. Now you can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to connect our Google task account with Pavli Connect in this trigger window so that every time we create a new task in our Google task account, automatically the details of that new task should be captured inside Pavli Connect. Then after that, using Pavli Connect, we are going to send those new task details to our Notion database so that we can create a new item over there. We can add that Google task into a Notion database as well, that too automatically. So let's begin guys. Now here in trigger window, in choose app, search for Google tasks. Select it. And then in trigger event from the drop down, we have three different trigger events. First one is the new task. Second one is a new task list. And the third one is new task completed. So we are going to select this new task as the trigger event. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Google task account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this sign in with Google button and then select your Google task account in which you are creating new task. And after selecting the account, just scroll down and click on continue. And as we click on continue, we will see our Google task account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first and the only thing it asks us is the task list. And in the drop down below, you can see a list of all the task lists which you have created in your Google task account. So here guys, in my Google task account, you will see that I have four different task lists. First one is smart tasks. Second one is Trello. Third one is the Pavli team. And fourth one is the teamwork. So guys, I want to add that all the new tasks which I'm adding or creating in this task list named as teamwork. I want to add the details of all of those tasks into our Notion database. So here from the drop down, I'm going to select teamwork over here as the task list. After selecting your task list, whenever we are going to create on the save and send test request button, automatically the details or the data of the most recent task, the last task which we have created in this particular task list in our Google task account, automatically the details of that task will be received inside Pavli Connect over here. So let's do this. We are going to create a new task in this particular task list. For example, click on this add task button. The title is just take an example of let's enter the details. We have to integrate MailChimp inside Pavli Connect. So this is the detail. Let's enter a due date. For example, 26th of January is the due date. Click on OK. After clicking on OK, guys, you can see that just now we have added a new task in our Google task account. Now we will get back to Pavli Connect and click on this save and send test request button. And after clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that the details of the same task which we have just now created are received inside Pavli Connect. So here we can see that we have the title of the task, MailChimp integration. Then in the, here we can see the in notes, we can see the description of the task which we have added. And then here you can see the same due date, 26th of January 2023 as well, which we have added. 
Now this means guys, the first step of setting up this automation is completed. We have successfully connected our Google task account with Pavli Connect so that whenever a new task will be created in our Google task account, automatically the details of that task will be received inside Pavli Connect. Now after this, let's move to our next step and that is sending this new task details to Notion. For that, just scroll down, come to our action window and here in choose app, search for Notion. Just select it. And then in action event from the drop down, select the action event as create database item. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, in this action step, we have to connect our Notion account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with Notion button. And then here basically because we have already logged into a Notion account in our browser, Pavli Connect has detected the same account and it is asking us for the permission. Click on this select pages section. And then here it is asking us that the access permission of which page on our Notion account we want to give in Pavli Connect. So here you can see that all the Notion pages which I have created in my Notion account over here, you can see all of these pages over here. And here it is asking us to which of these pages we want Pavli Connect to give the access. So we are going to add the details in this particular page named as task details. So we are going to select it. But if you want, according to your requirement, you can basically give access to just a single page or if you want, you can give access to all of the pages as well. Right now, I'm just selecting all the Notion pages which I have created and click on allow access button. After clicking on allow access, here you will see that our Notion account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the next thing it asks us is the database. That all the Notion pages whose access we have given by making the connection in the drop down below, you can see a list of all the database which you have created in those pages. So I have this database named as task details. And in this particular database, we have created this table where we want to add the details of a new task from Google task. So we are going to select this database task details from the drop down. If you have created any other database, you just have to select the database in which you want to add this data. Then after that, here you can see that we have some fields due date, task details, task name, and task ID. So in this table in the database, I have created four different columns of data, task ID, task name, task details, and due date. And you can see all of these four columns as field over here in Pavli Connect. So here guys, in these given fields, we have to basically map or add the data which we want to add in the respective fields. Like we have received the due date of the task from Google task. This is the response of the due date. So from this trigger response of Google task, we are going to map this response over here in this field of due date. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below from a list of all the responses which we have received from Google task, select the respective response of due date and map it over here. So in this way, you can map the data in the respective fields according to your requirement. Now after this, let's map the task details as well. So here in task details, just click here from the drop down. We have this response of notes as task details. Just select it and map it. Then we have to map the task name. So just click here and from the drop down, select the name, the title of the task. And at last the task ID. Just map the ID as well. So in this way, you can basically map other details as well. You just have to create some more columns, some more fields in the table of your Notion database. And then you can map all of the respective details according to your requirement. The last field which we have is of content. Like if you want that new database item which we are creating or the new row which we are adding in this Notion database in this table, you can basically add some content to that particular page as well. If you want, you can write a descriptive content up to 2000 characters as well. But if not, you can ignore it too. So right now I'm just ignoring this field and we will click on this save and send test request button. Now, when we click on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the data which we have mapped over here, basically the details of a new task which we have created in our Google task account are now added in our Notion database. So let's check it. We will go to our Notion database. And yes, guys, here you can see that in the same table, in the same database, a new row of data is added. When we will open it, we will see all the details over here. We have the task ID, we have the name of the task, we have the due date, we have the task details and other details as well. And as I told you, if you want, you could have also entered some content. 
then the content which if you have added some content over here in this action step the same content can be seen over here in this field and under this page so in this way guys we can see that the connection or the automation workflow which we have created between google task and notion using Pavli connect this automation workflow is working perfectly fine and after setting up this automation we just have to test this automation once so here guys we are going to create another task in our google task account click on this add a task button and give this task a name as for example real time test this is the name of the task let's add the detail as we are just testing this automation in real time so this is the details and let's check their data as 24th of january tomorrow's date click on ok so just now guys here you can see that we have added a new task in our google task account and as we add this task within 10 minutes the details of this task will be captured by public connect so guys the connection between google task and public connect is a polling based connection and in this type of connection as you can see every 10 minutes public connect will go to our google task account and check whether we have added any new task in last 10 minutes or not if we have added any new task it will get the details of all the new tasks which we have added and this automation workflow will be triggered it will be started and then using this automation we are going to add those details into our notion database so guys what we have to do we just have to wait for 10 minutes over here okay so we have successfully waited for 10 minutes now let's check our notion database and yes guys here you can see that the same task which we have just now created in our google task account is now added in our notion database we have the same task id we have the task name real time test we have the description of the task and the due date of the task 24th of january 2023 the same date which we have selected so guys we have tested this automation in real time and it is working perfectly fine and using this automation whenever a new task will be created in our google task account automatically the details of that task will be added in our notion database as a new item so not just these applications guys you can connect plenty of other applications using public connect and one more important thing you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below by clicking on that link you can clone the same workflow into your own public connect account and use this workflow for free also let me tell you public connect offers you a free plan and in this plan you will get some free task every month into your own public connect account so if you want to try and test this automation you can do it for absolutely free if you have any kind of doubts or queries you can post them on forum.pavli.com so if this video was helpful to you you can obviously like this video comment out your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others so guys that's it for today's video thank you have a great day